Hey everybody, welcome to another tutorial from PhotoshopIsFun.com. Now, before I get started with today's tutorial, I just want to take a minute to say thanks to all of you guys who take the time to watch the ads before the tutorials or who go out to the Facebook page and interact with me there or the PhotoshopIsFun.com site to download brushes and you know source images so that you can follow along in the tutorials. All of those interactions and the feedback I'm getting in all those different channels has been fantastic and a great way for us to kind of communicate and share professional uh, photography and Photoshop tips and tricks. So it's really great um, to see this community grow. Now that said, today what I want to do is cover off a topic that I get a question about all the time and that is how do I apply that Instagram or that 1977 color treatment to my photos? And I have a few different ways that I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's go ahead and get started right away. So I'm going to be working with this photo here of Mika to show you how to do these treatments. Now the first one is called, uh, at least in the studio here, we call it Chili and Espresso. And I won't get into the funny backstory behind that because it'll just take too long. But let me show you exactly how to do this. Now the first thing I want to do is deconstruct this and um, let me just show you where we started and then we'll build it back up um, to how we landed at this final treatment. Um, so the first thing you want to do is go down to your adjustment layer and add a gradient map. And right away you'll see that it um, by default drops the uh, black and white here so you get the monochrome. And what I want you to do is click on this little arrow here and then go down to the gears icon because what we need to do is load a new set of gradient maps that come with Photoshop but aren't loaded by default. So go down to Color Harmonies 1 and then just go ahead and say append and what that'll do is append this set to your existing ones and then I want you to go down and look for red violet yellow green uh, which is right here and of course that doesn't look very good but if you go to your blending layer and then go down to soft light you'll see that now it starts to pull in that effect and then what you want to do is go over to your opacity slider here and then just dial it down to that point that you want for your particular photograph so just get the effect and you know the kind of that um, level of, of intensity that you're looking for for your piece and for me I'm gonna go ahead and dial it down to about 45 that that works really well for me so that's essentially a really quick way of doing it now to finish off this type of photograph what I would do is I would um, do my um, vignette uh, um, uh, effect as well and I have another tutorial on that so go ahead and subscribe or look for that in my other videos if you're not familiar with how to do it because I'm just gonna do it really quickly here so that I can use it for the other treatments um, you can see that I just do a basically a curves uh, adjustment and then um, I'm going to go ahead and something like that and then I'm going to dial this back just a tad to about 75 and that's exactly what I'm looking for okay so that's the first one that's chili and espresso now I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this gradient map and show you the next one so the next one is just a variation of chili and espresso. Go back to your adjustment layers and add another gradient map. And this time we're going to retain the monochrome gradient map. And um, we're going to go ahead and go back to the blending mode and we're going to do the exact same thing and go down to soft light. And it gives you a just a slight variation of that. And then again dial down the opacity to a level that, that works for you um, in your photograph. So for me I'd probably land here on uh, 35%. And then again, when you turn on your um, <clears throat> vignette, you kind of, you know, finish off the piece. So that's a really quick way to um, do a second color treatment. Now, lastly, let's do the Instagram one. So to get that more traditional or more precise Instagram look and feel, what we basically want to do is we want to go into the blue channel and remove contrast. And there's different ways to do that, but I want to try a non-destructive way of doing it here. So go down and go to your adjustment layer and select a curve adjustment layer. And um, what we're going to do is select the blue channel here and then select the pencil. And we're going to basically draw across the neutral line here a um, line with the pencil and that'll start to give us that look and feel that we're after. And it doesn't have to be a perfect line by any means. You can actually go higher up and, and lower in your frequencies to get a slightly very different variation on this. But generally speaking, um, you know, going str straight down the neutral line works pretty well. And then what I do is I just go ahead and dial this layer back and again like the other ones until I get that look that I'm after. And in this case, I'm going to say about 30% uh, will work beautifully. And then I'm going to turn my vignette back on to kind of finish off the piece. So there you have it. There's three 
easy color treatments that you can apply to your photos. Um, until the next tutorial, happy photoshopping.